Hi, my name is Nova Cosme Pollock, and I'm an Applications Engineer at AGI and ANSYS Company. And today, I'm here to show you some very unique capabilities of SDK EOIR. Welcome to the wonderful world of EOIR. In our mission, we are looking at weather patterns, i.e. clouds, with our EOIR sensors. Our first set of sensors are on our satellite in GEO. We have the globe in view and it's quite a scene. Our onboard cameras are looking at both visible and thermal bands. We see the Earth in the visible band up at the top and then the thermal down below. How else will clouds affect our mission? Well, let's take a closer look. We have two aircraft. One has two EOIR sensors on board. Uh, once again, looking at the visible and thermal bands, the other aircraft is gonna do something fun. We're gonna have it rise above the cloud layer and descend down. All the while, our other aircraft flies beneath it and observes it. And we've added a twist. We're going to observe the same scene with different atmospheric and cloud conditions. Here's what we can expect to see from our onboard cameras. Without any atmospheric or cloud conditions, we see the aircraft clearly. But once we incorporate clouds, we can see the aircraft dim, so to speak. Finally, we can look at the same scene with the clouds and Matran atmosphere. Determining when a system can detect, track, identify, and characterize targets of interest under operational conditions is critical to the success of a mission. Modeling clouds and atmosphere and understanding their effects is therefore imperative. Using EOIR, you have the ability to model, simulate, and analyze these effects. So model these in your mission and you too can account for potential targets becoming obscured.